Okay, how you going there folks? Uh, this is the latest and greatest detector from Mine Lab. It's the, um, the 5000. Uh, at the moment I've just got it set up with the uh, standard mono coil that came with it. Uh, the, there's a whole panel on the front here with a bunch of settings. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've got it set uh, on a few different little settings there. I'll have to go into that at a later stage. Okay, so it actually is actually relatively complicated, this machine. And then uh, on the back of the machine, there's actually an LED screen. And basically nearly all those settings I've got in what they call a, a pre-factory set. So it's a, uh, the, the, the factory settings on it as it comes with the machine. So uh, what I want to do today is just to give you an idea of what a couple of different targets sound like. So I've actually got um, two pieces of gold buried over here. One of them is actually about a 16 ounce nugget and it's buried at about 15 inches deep and the other one right beside it is probably about a half gram nugget at about uh, two inches deep so uh, I thought today I'd just uh, swing the detector over these two targets just to give you an idea of what they sound like and uh, the sort of thing you actually want to be look listening for when you're out in the field using one of these things um, more often than not a piece of gold's not going to knock your ears off. It's going to be a fairly subtle target, and uh, this is actually going to give you an example of both a big piece of gold deep and a small piece of gold shallow. Both of them are actually very shallow, or very, uh, I should say, discrete signals, I suppose. So I'm going to turn the volume right up on this so you can hear it, and let's go. So I'm just sort of balancing it at the moment trying to get out that uh, background mineralisation. So that's the 16 ounce nugget, like I said, that's at about 15 inches deep. I'm actually waving the coil pretty high off the ground at the moment, so you could probably say that really I'm getting that at about 18 inches, I suppose. Right on 15 inches. Quite a big broad sound. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to drop that down another three inches. So that's actually down to a, a true 18 inches there now. So there's something there, but it's very, very subtle. I don't know if you're picking that up, but I can just barely hear a change in the uh, in that background threshold with that. And then the next target we've got up here, this is about a half gram or a couple inches deep. So you can see that's a, quite a distinct little signal. In fact, it probably, uh, to a certain degree, is even a sharper and uh, more distinctive signal than the 16 ouncer. So I've probably got this an inch or so off the ground as well, just to get it at its maximum cap capacity. So as I said, you might be getting that at three or four inches maybe. Now right on the ground, a very distinct signal. In fact, like I said, more distinct than the 16 ouncer. So um, while we, I'm just going to pull the 16 ouncer out of the ground and show it to you, just to prove to you that there is actually a 16 ounce piece of gold in there. And there it is, big chunk of gold. 10 or 12 inches, it actually screams on the machine, but like I said, even a, turn this down, so you can see like even a, uh, yeah, a piece that big, the machine really was struggling to get it at 18 inches deep. So, um, you know, some of the misdemeanors around about these machines and how deep they punch, you know, you've got to take with a grain of salt. Mind you, this is just a standard, uh, uh, what is it, 11 inch mono coil. Um, you know, with a uh, with a bigger coil on this, a big 18 or 24 inch mono coil, you probably get this at uh, well over two feet, I'd say. But with the standard equipment, like I said you're struggling to get it. You know, a good operator would get it at 15. I knew it was there, so I could hear it at 18. But you know, really, if you're out in the field looking for this, I don't think you'd find it at 18 feet. So, um, at 18 inches, I should say. So anyway, that's a, that's a bit of an example of uh, you know what two different sized pieces of gold at different depths sound like 
I said both of them are fairly subtle. You're not listening for things that um that go like that, you know. Like you're listening for those subtle, discreet changes in the threshold. And uh, you know, if, you, if you're picking up those sort of things, and if you're digging targets like that, you're going to be taking care of the bigger ones and the shallower ones, and you'll find the screamers. You'll find the big ones, no problem at all. Over and out.